So I got a fairly cheap Chinese made axe not long ago to mess around with and I now notice it's discontinued but I figured I can still show you the test footage for entertainment if nothing else. This is one that I didn't have high hopes for because for one tactical tomahawks, well there are lots of them and not many of them are really well made and there are some issues with mounting an axe head to a plastic handle even if it's high impact plastic. I don't particularly trust that combination, even though there are some that are well made. By the way, I tried wearing the GoPro on a chest mount and that was rather silly because what you mainly see is my arm. Very useful. The moment I laid my hands on the handle, I was not a fan. Uh, for one, it's round and it has a, well, subjectively cheap feel. I say subjectively because, you know, what is a cheap feel? Can't exactly quantify that. But because I somewhat mistrusted this thing, I figured why not do some throwing? Because that's pretty much the quickest way you can break one of these. You know, if it fails, then you will see the soonest when throwing it because that puts a lot of stress on it. Anyway, I'll just let you watch how it turned out. So to make the point stick, I have to move a little closer because the upward curvature means it needs to hit earlier so that the spike can dig in and it doesn't bounce off the curved part. Uh, That's the nice thing about the spike, it would otherwise bounce off, you still have a chance to stick it because there's another pointy thing on the opposite end. But it seems, I keep adjusting, keep going forward, if I actually get close enough to make the blade stick then I'm at the exact same distance as before, so I'm just going to move back a lot further. It's like at about 15 meters or so, it's getting difficult to even hit it at this point. Yes. The only problem is I was too far for me to reach the camera, so set it up differently. Let's see if I can do that again. Well, that was pretty awesome. I haven't practiced axe throwing in quite a while and I was never really good to begin with, but sticking it at this distance is pretty damn satisfying. Now that I said that, watch me screw up my next throw. Could have been worse. I like the sound that this makes. Because of the hole here, it actually whistles as it flies through the air. I doubt that you can hear that in the video. <laughs> wow. Okay, that was stupid. So, <laughs> when I got it to stick, I... I have to run over to the high-speed camera to turn it on because it records the previous four seconds. What do I do, stupid mule that I am, I run toward this camera. What? Nope. It's funny, I was prepared to hate this thing because of the round handle, which is not good for chopping, but for throwing, that's just fine. And so far it's holding up well. As I really want you to hear that, so I am going to throw an axe toward my $2,000 camera. You better appreciate the sacrifice. Just kidding, it'll be fine. I'm not throwing directly at it.
Okay, now I found the problem. I knew why I had a bad feeling about this handle here. You can probably see that it's it's bent backwards. The tang is pressing against the plastic. So I think what will eventually happen is probably that this will pop out of the plastic. And that's of course a general problem with uh, plastic handles with this kind of tang construction. Uh, with a SOG Fast Hawk, I haven't had any such problems. And the material on that one seems better than this. When I split wood, I can really feel the handle flex quite a bit, which of course makes it less effective. And also, it worries me that I can even just flex it with my hands a little bit. I mean, wooden handles break too. And eventually, if this breaks, you can just remove the screws and mount it on a wooden handle if you like. So it's still salvageable. But that is definitely an issue, something that I don't like, aside from the fact that the handle is round, which makes it less effective for chopping and splitting. But for throwing, this is way better than I thought. I, I was convinced this would break or completely bend. I saw there is there is a bend in the in the spike here, or beak, but it hasn't gotten any worse. Like I actually noticed right in the beginning when I started the test, I already noticed that. So I think, I'm not sure if it came like that, I'm assuming it did, I didn't notice it before, but also didn't look at it that thoroughly. So this might have just come that way, which is not good, of course. So that this deforms is not a good sign, but otherwise there's no damage on the edge. The edge is thick enough, but not overly thick. And the spike seems okay. I'm not seeing any significant damage on the steel anywhere. And the handle is just a bit of abrasion here at the end where it hits random debris. Thank you.